Romans chapter 1, verse 4. And declared to be the Son of God with power, according to the Spirit of holiness, by the resurrection from the dead. Romans 1, 4. And declared to be the Son of God with power, according to the Spirit of holiness, by the resurrection from the dead. Romans 1, 4. And declared to be the Son of God with power, according to the Spirit of holiness, by the resurrection from the dead. Romans 1, 4. And declared to be the Son of God with power, according to the Spirit of holiness, by the resurrection from the dead. Romans 1, 16. For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believeth, to the Jew first and also to the Greek. Romans 1.16 For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believeth, to the Jew first and also to the Greek. Romans 1.16 For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believeth, to the Jew first and also to the Greek. Romans 1.20 For the invisible things of him from the creation of the world are clearly seen, being understood by the things that are made, even his eternal power and Godhead, so that they are without excuse. Romans one twenty, For the invisible things of him from the creation of the world are clearly seen, being understood by the things that are made, even his eternal power and Godhead, so that they are without excuse. Romans one twenty, For the invisible things of him from the creation of the world are clearly seen, being understood by the things that are made, even his eternal power and Godhead, so that they are without excuse. Romans one twenty. For the invisible things of him from the creation of the world are clearly seen, being understood by the things that are made, even his eternal power and Godhead, so that they are without excuse. Romans one twenty six through twenty eight. Romans one twenty six through twenty eight. For this cause God gave them up unto vile affections. For even their women did change their natural use into that which is against nature. And likewise also the men, leaving the natural use of the woman, burned in their lusts one toward another, men with men working that which is unseemly, and receiving in themselves that recompense of their error which was meet. And even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, God gave them over to a reprobate mind to do those things which are not convenient. Romans one twenty six, For this cause God gave them up unto vile affections, for even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. Romans one twenty six. For this cause God gave them up unto vile affections, for even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. Romans one twenty six. For this cause God gave them up unto vile affections, for even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. Romans one twenty six. For this cause God gave them up unto vile affections, for even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. Romans one twenty seven. And likewise also the men, leaving the natural use of the woman, burned in their lusts one toward another, men with men, working that which is unseemly, and receiving in themselves that recompense of their error which was meet. Romans one twenty seven. And likewise also the men, leaving the natural use of the woman, burned in their lusts one toward another, men with men, working that which is unseemly, and receiving in themselves that recompense of their error which was meet. Romans one twenty seven. And likewise also the men, leaving the natural use of the woman, burned in their lusts one toward another, men with men working that which is unseemly, and receiving in themselves that recompense of their error which was meet. Romans one twenty eight, And even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, God gave them over to a reprobate mind to do those things which are not convenient. Romans one twenty eight, And even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, God gave them over to a reprobate mind to do those things which are not convenient. Romans one twenty eight, And even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, God gave them over to a reprobate mind to do those things which are not convenient. Romans one twenty eight, And even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, God gave them over to a reprobate mind to do those things which are not convenient.